Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we are nine days away from game one of the KSAT Pigskin Classic, powered by your San Antonio area Chevy dealers. Yes, a very exciting time of the year. Today we're previewing, previewing one of the marching bands performing at the Alamo Dome. We visit Antonian High School as they prepare for the big game and the big halftime show. Take a look. <laughs> going to be playing in front of so many people, so many people buying tickets. It's really nerve-wracking, but exciting that we're able to get that chance to be heard by so many. Yeah, as a whole, we're all very excited. Um, you know, we're stoked. You know, obviously for us too, it's just as big as for the football team. We get to perform the Alamo Dome. That's, that's pretty big. Um, me personally though, I'm, I'm super, I'm super excited, yeah. I think I saw it as like a notification on my phone and I didn't really know what that meant because I didn't know, oh, the Alamo Dome, okay, sure. But I guess now hearing about it, I'm kind of getting anxious, but also super excited. originally from the East Coast and it like does not get this humid over there so I'm a little bit dying inside but you know I make it through it this is my third year doing this so I'm almost used to it. Honestly we've been practicing in the mornings so it's not quite as bad as the afternoon but uh, I definitely feel like it, it's really hot still in the morning yeah so but we get through it. Okay, you need to say to yourself quietly to make sure you're in time, that's why. But yeah, it's going to be really exciting to just be in a different venue that we're used to. Um, especially Alamo Dome, that's going to be a big change for us, but it's going to be really exciting to um, just be there and be able to provide like an energetic atmosphere to, to our fans. When I heard about the Alamo Dome game, I was actually attending Holy Cross. So I was in the classroom and our teacher was the football coach and he was like, hey, do you all know that we're going to be playing Antonian like at the Alamo Dome? And I was like, oh, and no one knew I was coming to Antonian or that I was leaving. And so it was like my little secret. And so I was able to keep it to myself. But like, yeah, I knew already, like I'm going to be attending there. And so it was just because I already went there, it's much more exciting and it's a lot more friendly competition because I know those kids and I know those teachers and I know those coaches. I'm really, really excited. I've never been to the Alamo Dome, so it's my first time going, so I'm super, super hyped. Little sneak peek, but we're gonna like be from here to here to here, so we're gonna open up, we're gonna condense. We're just gonna be moving around all the time, so just to amp up the music, try to get everyone hyped. I think for Color Guard as a whole, we've always worked under pressure a lot of the time. Like, we wouldn't find out we were doing a different show or the next movement until a week before we were pl gonna play it. So we've always worked really well with learning choreo and learning routines super quickly. I think it's a great opportunity for them. It's just, my whole reason for becoming a band director is just to give kids opportunities like these, just like cool experiences that they can talk about for years to come. So, you know, this is just another one on the list that they get to add um, to while they're at Antonian. We had another performance last week. Um, and so that was our like, first performance of the year, a chance to see where we are and just give us room to grow. So I think we're gonna be ready for our first game. All right, Antonian will take on Holy Cross next Friday and we are ready. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and The Door. Mike and I will be your hosts for all halftime shows. And if you can't make it out to the Alamo Dome, we will broadcast it right here on KSAT 12.